Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces for the month of June. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so if it doesn't resonate right now, it may not resonate at all, or it may resonate at a later time in June. So watch it later. This is like a preview. This is what could happen. Okay, so Pisces, June. Let's get an overall energy for Pisces for June. Have a scissor card. That is your card. It is set the number it equals seven. Goddess of the moon. This tells me that your intuition is spot on. You're right in your own element. Um, your psychic abilities are on high. Um, something could be happening right around the new moon or the full moon that is very prominent for you. Um, you may have manifested something that is coming to fruition. Either way, you are right in your element. You're right where you need to be. So you're really showing up this month. You're probably glowing. You are probably uh, very attractive at this time. Um, and, you know, I, you know, I just said you've, you've manifested something. Magician in the mirror. You have. You have manifested something. It's like maybe there's some wish that is coming true, Pisces. What do we have for Pisces? You know, I just wanted to say spectacular. I don't think I've said that word many times in my life. Spectacular? Whatever that means, I don't know. What do we got for Pisces? <laughs> wow, the Five of Swords. Amazing. This is, is this is fighting a losing battle. You may be you may be up against somebody. You may be in a situation where you just can't win. You know? They may, this, this is defeat. This is conflict. This is tension. You know? Somebody may be pushing you away or you may be pushing them away. This is a nasty energy. Losing battle right here. Somebody is fighting a losing battle. It's like it's a constant battle as well. Constant conflict. Five is conflict. So, and it's like it's a constant conflict. You may you may need to defend yourself constantly. High priestess reversed. You could be dealing with somebody who has hidden agendas. Somebody that's keeping secrets from you. Somebody that's not telling you the truth. Somebody just keeping to themselves. Could be you. I mean, I don't know. This could always go vice versa. It really could. So we got somebody here that's just not speaking their truth. Or they're not following their intuition. You know, I think you're very intuitive at this time. If you are doubting yourself, stop. Because whatever your intuition is telling you, it's spot on, okay? Don't deny your intuition. Mm, this is grieving. This is grieving a loss, the Five of Cups. Another five. Yikes, okay. Uh, fives are about major life change. They're about the choices that you make. All right. So anyway, this is grieving a loss. It's like you have a better opportunity over here, but you can't see it. Somebody is focus on, focusing on a loss. They're focusing on some hurt. There's grieving. There's guilt, perhaps. There's sadness. There's regrets. So somebody may be regretting, regretting something. Maybe they're regretting pushing somebody away. Maybe somebody's regretting pushing you away. Ooh, the lovers. You know, when I see the lovers card, it means, you know, when I see the lovers card, it means you have a choice to make. And you do, obviously, with these fives. You have to, you have a choice. And this usually tells me that you have somebody else that's better suited for you, but you're focused on the wrong one. That's what this means to me. And I tell every, every sign this. 
You know, the lovers is when you are focused on, you know, you, you may think that you know who the one is, but the one is actually somebody else. And now you have to make a choice and you have to choose wisely. You have to make a decision. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice because this is a card of consequences as well. So somebody may be grieving the loss of a choice that they have made. I don't know. This is, this is, you have somebody else. This is, you have somebody else. Somebody that's really well, well suited for you. But this is severing ties. So I'm not sure if, if ties need to be severed to get to this perfect match. Maybe from, with you or the other person. Somebody, this is severing ties. Somebody's been keeping a secret. Hmm. Ooh, page of cups. This is an offer. This is a welcome offer of love. Good news is coming. Something good is coming. Whatever somebody has been keeping, something, some sort of something good is coming. Oh, jeez. The Six of Cups. This is the past. Oh, my God. I know you guys don't like to hear this, but the Six of Cups, this is somebody from your past. Right in the middle of the reading right now. Somebody's clinging to the past. They're clinging to the love of their past. Grieving, suffering. This past could be grieving over you. Somebody from the past is clinging. Somebody, somebody from the past is suffering. Knight of coins reversed. Somebody hasn't been practical. Somebody has lost their discipline. They've lost their focus. There's been a delay. Things have come to things have uh, come to a halt. It's like there's no forward movement really being made. There's no progress being made. Somebody's not mastering their emotions. They're not following their heart. And they're not really focused on a happy relationship. Somebody's not putting in effort to a relationship. They could be clinging to the past. They could be clinging to the memories of the past. Clinging to the past relationship. I can't make it up. I'm sorry. This is good news coming in though. This is, a, this is like an apology. Or this is an offer of love. Or something like that. But it could be with somebody that you've severed ties with. This could be an unrequited love situation as well. Somebody may be in a situation that they, this is like lies, not telling the truth. Somebody may have been telling the truth about who they really love. This is not, not really focused on love, a relationship, not really focused on happiness. I mean, that's what this is. There's relationship problems when you get the Ten of Cups reversed. And it's like you have... This, this lover's card, this tells me that you, right around the corner, like right around the corner, this is the right around the corner, okay, right around the corner, it's like you have somebody that's perfect for you, you have a better match, a soulmate, but somebody is focused, it's like somebody is keeping their true feelings to themselves, not making any moves, not feeling loved, not following their heart, not getting the emotional fulfillment that they really wish for. But there is an opportunity for happiness because this is the Four of Wands. This is a card of happiness. This is your approach. This is in your approach position. Go after happiness. Commit yourself to happiness. Commit yourself to focusing on a relationship. Commit yourself to love.
The challenge is, I mean, this is the challenge position. This is, this could be apologizing. This could be messaging. This could be communicating. This could be following your heart. This could be following your intuition. Presently, somebody is not speaking. They're just grieving presently. They're in a space of, you know, grief. Right now, this is the right now position, the Six of Cups reversed. Somebody's really focused on the past. They're focused on the past. They're focused on their past love. That's in the right now position. This is the past love. Hopes and fears. This is the pay, the pay, the Knight of uh, Pentacles reversed. The the, you know, fear that the, that they won't be accepted. Fear that, you know, nothing will come of this. Fear of rejection. Right around the corner, there's somebody that's better suited for you. Somebody that's perfect for you. But right now, in your environment, somebody's in an unhappy relationship. It's not happy. What do we have coming in for Pisces? What do we have coming in? Well, right now, things are delayed. We have, right now, there's like, there's really, somebody's too fearful. They're letting fear get in the way. There's, they're too fearful of facing the opposition. Not finding the mental strength to take, to take the seat, take the driver's seat. There's lack of discipline. There's lack of focus here. Somebody has lost their direction. You, you have to be the boss. Somebody is stalling big time. This is seizing an opportunity, though. The Four of Cups. I said what's coming in for Pisces. This is seizing an opportunity for love. It's like the Four of Cups reversed. It is, you know, letting go of the regret. So eventually, somebody's going to let go of the regret. Here we have the regret. This is letting go of the regret. This is the end of stagnation. This is re-energized. Somebody's probably going to start looking forward. But that Knight of Cups reversed. This is like, whew, we got somebody here who is really, 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 really not putting effort into a relationship. They're not. It's like they want the opportunity. They want to let go of their, these regrets. They want this opportunity for love, but they're so scared to take action. So much fear of rejection. Fear of being let down. Fear of, you know, getting dropped or not being accepted. But with confidence, courage, <laughs> and willpower, this is just go for it. Could just go for it. Find your confidence. To face your fears, face your fears, face your fears. So somebody is probably going to find the strength to seize an opportunity, even though they're fearful. They are definitely fearful. Some sort of communication is going to come through. This is the truth. This is the truth. This is a wake-up call. This is honest truth. This is taking the power back. This is receiving the clarity Somebody is going to receive the clarity that they need that probably gives them the confidence and the courage to do something, put in effort, communicate, compromise, collaborate, work together, do something. It's like, I think we have somebody here that is going to this is make a decision. It's like they come up with this new thought, this new idea to communicate. Three of Cups reverse. This is loss of a friendship. Or loss of a love. 
or loss of a third party situation cut somebody out perhaps somebody may be cutting somebody out to go after the perfect match they may be finding this is a cut somebody may be finding the strength to cut somebody out so that they can work together with wh whatever whoever this person is somebody has has lost a big huge opportunity here this is lost somebody has lost a huge opportunity they've lost something big This is a loss of happiness as well. We definitely have somebody here that is grieving a loss, a big loss. That's the truth. That is the truth. And it's like now they may want to work together. Now they, now they want to communicate. Now they want to put in effort. Oh my God, we have some serious grieving here. Serious grieving, sadness, pain, over a loss. There could be an upcoming celebration where you, where you run into somebody, okay? You may run into somebody from your past at this celebration, whatever this celebration is. Um, but there is some serious sadness here, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. Um... Definitely a very emotional time, no doubt about it. I think it's going to be an emotional month, but I do feel like you're going to have emotional support or you're going to be offering emotional support to somebody. I do believe there is some ties that are being severed that is going to cause a person to be very emotional. It's, it's almost very hurtful. Whether it's you or the other person, somebody is, is hurting. And it's not just a little bit, it's a lot. There's a huge loss here of some sort. It could be a loss of a friendship, a loss of a love. A relationship is about to change with that Ten of Cups. There's relationship issues here. Ten of Cups reversed. It's like there's no more relationship growth in a certain direction with the Knight of Cups reversed. And there's a, there's a better match with that Lover's card. There is absolutely a better match. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah, this is a blessing in disguise. This truly is a blessing in disguise because you are going to receive a blessing out of this. This is a blessing. This is going to bring you peace of mind, whatever it is. Whatever this is, you will receive peace of mind out of it. You may, it may not sound like it, but this is peace of mind. This is hopes and wishes being fulfilled in the end. This is a card of healing. So, so there's an opportunity to heal from a hurtful situation. This is a blessing. This is a blessing in disguise. I think there's a severing of ties. That hurts. But it's a blessing in disguise. It's going to bring you something better. It's going to bring you something better suited for you. Whatever it is. Expect the unexpected. Seriously, expect the unexpected. You may not see it coming. Um... That there is a huge loss here. The fool reverse. This is afraid. Afraid. The fear again. Fear. Fear of, of the unknown. Lack of faith. But this is have faith. Have faith. Don't let fear get in the way. Don't, don't, don't get fear of, you know, what's going to happen next. Don't get to hell with that. Okay? Because happiness will come. You may, you may be, you may come to a point where you're, you don't want to deal with any challenge at all. Great personal fear with these two cards. Overwhelmed. 
overwhelmed. I feel like you probably need some tender love and care. Yeah, I think that you you're dealing with some you're going to receive a message or you re, you're dealing with somebody who doesn't respect your boundaries or you're going to receive a message from somebody that you don't want to hear and it causes you some overwhelming emotion. Maybe you decide to cut this person out of your life because they don't have your back or they cut you out. It could go ver vice versa. We have some pain here. We definitely have some suffering, some heartache, heart pain. Not good news, okay? Somebody is not going to be receiving. I can't make it up. I can't change it. And a lot, a lot of people don't want to hear this kind of shit. Well, I'm sure you can find another reader that will not do reversals and only give you a positive message. But that ain't me. It's not authentic as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, um, this is not good news. This message is not good news, but that is reality. There could be some children that are causing problems. You could be dealing with a person that has children, or it could be your own children. You could be dealing with some people. You know, there's children that are causing some conflict in your life, and maybe that's what's causing ties to be severed. I don't know. We got some immature individuals here that are causing problems, put it that way. But you have the opportunity to take the power in your own hands and go after for whatever you want. This is the magician takes action to shed the old and bring in the new. As above, so below. Your wish is my command. So this is a, you know, th you may have been subconsciously wishing for this. Hoping for this. The star is hoping and wishing. And the universe heard your call and they're, they're clearing something out. To bring you the one. To bring you closer to the one. I don't know where that's coming from. I feel like you have a divine connection with the divine this month, Pisces. Use it to your advantage. Don't doubt your intuition. Follow your intuition. You have the power in your hands. It's like you do. The power is in your hands. You can have whatever you want. Don't let fear and doubt get in the way. I think that you have manifested something. You have called in like a soulmate or you've done something. But ties need to be severed first. This is severing ties, the very first card. I can't make it up. I, I know what this card means because it's my hated card. I do not like it. Out of all the cards in the deck, the Five of Swords is the card that I do not like the most. Somebody needs to sever ties. Whether it's you or the other person with something that is not good for them. Anyway, I do feel like ties, this card came out for a reason. Ties will be severed and it's painful. I do see pain. I see grieving. I see pain. There's a huge loss here, but it brings you something better. It's like you're going to receive some sort of wish fulfillment out of it. And I think that, you know, it's going to give you the power. Oh my God, I just cut the deck right to the Wheel of Fortune, upright. It's a change. It's going to change your direction for the better. This is good fortune. Whatever is happening is going to bring you good fortune. It's going to bring you something better. That's exactly what this is. This is a new chapter. This is karma. This is destiny. This is a change of course. This is a lucky break. Yes, something is being cut out. That, this is a lucky break. Okay, something is being cut out, but it is bringing you something better. So get prepared. Get prepared for a change in direction. It's a good thing. It is a good thing. I think you probably have seen it coming because I think your intuition is spot on. I think that you have a divine connection. I do. 
So I feel like uh, you probably seen this coming, and the time is now. That's what I see. You have a you expect a change, a big one, a big change, a life change, okay? Fated change. That's what I got. Talk to you next time.